Right, for problem number 31 of section 2.8, we're given a function that uh, models the position of a particle. And then we're asked to find the velocity and acceleration of the particle. So velocity, of course, is the first derivative of the position function with respect to time. So p prime of t will be, well, first we'll need to use uh, the chain rule. So the derivative of sine is cosine. And repeat the inside, so cosecant of t. And next multiply by the derivative of the inside. So we need to multiply by the derivative of cosecant, which is negative cosecant of t times cotangent of t. Or we can, uh, actually that's as simple as we can get it there. And the acceleration is uh, second derivative of position. So we'll need to apply the product rule first. So let's uh, take the derivative of the first, tar first part here. So I have negative sine of cosecant of t. And of course, then we'll need to apply the chain rule. So we'll have the derivative of cosecant of t, which is, again, negative cosecant times cotangent. So that's the derivative of the first part of the product. And now we need to repeat the um, second part. But the second part is negative cosecant t cotangent t which we already have here, so the negative signs will cancel out in each of these uh, trig functions will just be squared. All right, so now let's um, add the first part of the product times the derivative of the second, so cosine of cosecant. times the derivative of the second. And now it's should just pull out the minus sign to make things a little bit easier. So we'll actually just be taking the derivative of cosecant t cotangent t. So now this is the product rule. So we want to take the derivative of cosecant t, which is uh, negative cosecant cotangent. And we need to multiply that by cotangent. So have a squared term there. And now we need to add cosecant t times the derivative of cotangent, which is negative. This becomes negative. Uh, become negative cosecant squared. So now it's try to simplify things a little bit. And we get negative sine of cosecant of t uh, times cosecant squared of t cotangent squared of t. And we have a negative in each of the terms here, so we can factor that out. Uh, rewrite this as a plus sign. And that gives us plus cosine of cosecant of t times, now this is positive, so we'll have cosecant of t uh, cotangent squared of t plus cosecant uh, cubed of t. And this entire formula right here would be the uh, equation modeling the acceleration of the particle.